Hey, what up everybody? It's Cinny. And this is Gems of War on PS4. And today we're going to be going over pets uh, as requested by a subscriber slash commenter. Uh, we're going to be going over pets today, the top three pets. Uh, this video was kind of hard to make because I had to wait for a pet event to trigger. Um, but finally it has and we're going to be going over it. Um, just leave a comment down below, subscribe and leave a comment, and I'll go over anything you want. Just leave it in the comments. Um, I've already gone over trade stones and gold farming teams, soul farming teams, delves, all via the comments. Like, these aren't things that I wanted to do myself. Like, somebody requested them, and I went over them. And that's how it works. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, I'll go over whatever you want. Just let me know. I have some ideas of my own, but... As long as I keep getting comments, I'll keep going over stuff that you guys want. Alright, like I said, I had to wait for one of these to trigger so I could go over this uh, the way I wanted to. But, um, here we go. We got Finnicate is in danger. We only have 30 minutes remaining, which is about the least you want. Uh, these take up to 30 minutes to do, depending on, like, how high level you are. Dismiss. I was doing Bounty at the time. But... Whatever you're doing, make sure you quit and you go do the pet since it has a limited a time uh, for you to do it. You need to go do it as soon as possible. Of course, you can wait 15 to 30 minutes if you want, but like this one, we only have 30 minutes left, which as long as I have about 20 minutes, I feel okay. But um, I'm actually restarting for from earlier, so it's giving me my... It's a new day right now. Come on, let's get to it. Take the tribute, can't wait for that. Pets, okay, so you go to games, and it should pop up right here, Pet Rescue. Okay. So you have eight battles. It tells you on the overview screen, uh, you're going after Finnicut. Complete all eight battles to win this pet. And at the bottom it says capture escaping in 29 minutes. Our progress is 0 of 8. There are 8 battles. If you get all 8 battles, you're guaranteed one of the Finnicate pet. Uh, the pet mastery is how many levels you've uh, gained on your pets total, like of all your pets. And if you fill that up, like I need 10 more, 10 more levels, I'll get an orb. There's all kinds of different rewards. You get gems and orbs and everything. Uh, each battle gives a rescue reward, which is like a basket or gold um, or food. Rescue rewards have a chance to give pets some food, just what I just said. Finish all eight battles for a guaranteed pet. Same thing I just said. So yeah, there's eight battles. Final battle guarantees you a pet. Um, first battle gives 500 gold, one basket. Win the next fight to claim this reward. This basket could contain a pet, pet food, or some jewels. Uh, two gives 1,000 gold, one basket. Complete the previous stage of rewards to access this one. Three, 1,500 and one basket. 2,000, one basket. 2,500, one basket. 3,000, two baskets. 3,500 and two. And 4,000 gold and a guaranteed finicate pet. Now the baskets will give you a chance at another pet. Um, there, it's kind of low chance, but, you know, if you accumulate 10 baskets, you might get another pet. But they also drop, uh, food and, uh, I think maybe gold, I'm not sure. Uh, in the shop here, this is the, if you have, like, an overabundance of gems, which I don't, but if you do, or if it's a really important pet to you, you can buy more pets. So for 25 gems, you can buy a basket and 1,000 gold, which is another chance at a pet. Uh, 50 gems, 2 baskets, 2,000 gold. 100 gems, 3 baskets, 3,000 gold, 4 white pet food, and 1 pet. And it'll give you the type of pet food that will help you level the pet, so it'll be different for every pet. Uh, 200 gems, 4 baskets, 4,000 gold, 5 white pet food, and 2 pets. 300 gems, you can get 3 pets, 5 baskets, 5,000 gold, 6 white pet food. 400 gems, 4 pets, 8 white pet food, 6,000 gold, 6 baskets. 
And then the one at the end here, you can buy over and over and over as long as the pet's active. So we have about 25 minutes left. We could keep buying uh, 100 gem pets, um, you know, until uh, it's the timer's over. So if you really want to get a pet maxed out, you can keep rebuying the 100 gem uh, one here. You can buy it multiple times. And you're guaranteed one pet and you get two baskets, which give you a, you know, a chance at more pets. Pet info will tell you how many more pets you need to get to the next level, the next ascension. So I need three more of the Finnicate pet to get to level 10 to ascend to the next ascension, which would probably be, I don't know, ultra rare maybe. Let's see, no epic, I guess. So I need three more to get to epic, I guess. Anyway, I don't know which one it is, but I need three more pets to get to the next ascension level. And it also tells you it's a red buff pet and it's team bonus for fire. So let's go ahead and do the fights real quick. And just use any team that you know will get you by. Like whatever you use in PvP or dungeon or you know any anything that gets you by like what you your best team whatever your best team is just use that here I'm using a skull spam team my uh, best team of 2018 uh, from that video so all you want to do is just kinda get it done as quickly as possible and the reason this popped up is um, somebody in my guild got a, pe a pet gnome. So that might be something you may not know. Is the way to get pets is either you find a pet gnome. I gotta concentrate on the battle, but I'll tell you how to get these as I'm doing it. Because I want to get it done quickly. Uh, but yeah, somebody in my guild must have got a pet gnome. Because that's what triggers it. I don't know, we got blue. So you really need to join a guild if you want to get your pets leveled up. That would be the first step if you want to um, get all your pets leveled up. You want to be in a guild because it's shared amongst all guild members. I'm pretty sure. So you can go and explore, and you can spam explore if you want, and try to find pet gnomes. And that way you can, that'll give you a pet. Or somebody in your guild will be doing explore or something, or PvP. They'll get a pet gnome. It shares it amongst all the guild members. As long as there's not another pet active. So if you want to do it to, um the extreme you can put it in your uh, like guild chat or whatever that you're gonna activate a pet not a lot of people do that anymore but it's a good thing to do like if you get a pet you go to your guild and you say hey I got a pet does anybody you know I'm getting ready to activate it that way if somebody else is getting ready to activate one they can wait on it if they want which a lot of people don't do anymore uh, but it's a good way to like make sure there's always one active because you can't have two active at the same time so if like Joe Bob and your guild activates a pet um, then the one that you get won't be activated for everybody else in your guild and I don't even know if you can get one if there's one active at the time that somebody else has one active Mm, let's just do this. Probably could have killed him with skulls, but whatever. The other really big thing to know about pets is it doesn't matter which pet you have equipped. A lot of uh, newer players don't know that. But it doesn't matter at all. Like right now I have Baby Beard equipped. I don't even know what he does, to be honest. He's just there for looks. It doesn't matter what pet you have on your shoulder. 
Not one bit. So, if somebody's coming in these videos to look for the best pet to equip, it doesn't matter. That's the... <laughs> All that matters is what you have in your stable, pretty much. The pets that you have, the pets that you have leveled up, the pets that you have ascended, that's what matters. It doesn't matter which one you have equipped. You could have, like, a one that doesn't do anything and you'll still get all the benefits from all your other pets so your 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 mimic and your soul puppy all those they'll still work even if you have baby beard equipped but that's the biggest thing like going into this video that I really wanted to say is that uh it doesn't matter what pet you have equipped. You can have no pet equipped, and I don't know if that's even possible anymore. But you could have no pet equipped, and you would still get all the benefits from all your pets. Obviously, you have to have the pet. But other than that, that's all you need. As long as you have it, you get the benefits. Whatever your level is, your ascension, that's what you get. Boom. Yeah, so just use a team that uh you know will work. You do dungeons every day, use your dungeon team, you do PvP every day, or whatever, you do it all at once, whatever you do. Use your PvP team. If you don't have this team here, which is Mountain Crusher, Glaceon, Apothecary, King Bloodhammer, if you don't have this, use a key team, which is Cedric, Skeleton Key. Not in that order. It's, uh, yeah, it's Cedric, uh, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, Greed. You could use that, or you could use a World Breaker team, or any, any Mythic team will probably get it done. It's hard sometimes when I uh, put these videos out that you guys don't have the troops that I have. Um, just because there's so many troops, not that you you know, that I have good troops or anything. There's just so many that maybe you have like, six, you know, half the mythics, but you have the half that I don't have or something. I need something with brown here. Come on. Brown and blue, I guess. Uh, let's do Mountain Crusher. And uh, coming out soon is Potions. Those are going to buff you up for these kind of things. So don't really... I mean, if you don't have a team that can get this all the way done, uh, soon there's going to be a way to buff up yourself uh, with potions. So you'll be able to get pets done easier. I don't know what it's going to cost. Probably gems, which kind of... I don't know how that's supposed to help people that are that don't have gems, but... Got an extra turn. Let's do red. A bunch of doom skulls. Go over here. Get all these doom skulls. We got red aligned again with skulls. All right, we're on five. Let's see how much time we got left. You can go back to the overview mirror uh, menu. It'll tell you how much time you got left. On the bottom there, it says we have 18 minutes left, which is good. And you can see so far we've uh, done four battles, so we got the first four rewards if I want to collect those. I guess I can do that. So we got two red pet food, one white pet food, 5,000 gold, and 23 rubies. And the rubies you can use in the Soul Forge to turn into pet food if you want, which I never do. Because uh, those jewels can also be used to make celestial trade stones, I think, so... It's not a great idea, but if you really, really need food. And we'll be going over the top three pets after these battles. I might even... I don't know. It just... I had to wait for it to pop up. So this video is going to be awkward no matter what because I can't make a pet uh, battle pop up unless I wait until the next event. And I already am waiting an extra day on this because I had such a busy day yesterday. 
went to get something done with my car. It ended up taking way longer than I thought. I'm sure some of you out there know how that is. You go in for one little thing and they find 50 million things wrong and it takes way more time than you thought. And then you're just pooped when you get home and by the time I was ready to do a video it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was just ready for bed. I couldn't, I can barely, you know, I was so tired. I was like, I can't do this right now. Plus I would have had to wait for a pet battle to pop up. I shouldn't have done that, damn it. Getting sloppy. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do this. I don't even have it. Okay. Turn purple to brown. Um, do we have skull? Ah, uh, let's do this. It'll give us good, some good damage. But yeah, whenever these pop up, you want to do them. Like, drop whatever you're doing. Go do the pet because there's a limited time on it. There's only 60 minutes if you're lucky. Um, if you come into the game like I just did, somebody could already have one active and maybe you only have 30 minutes or 20 minutes. So that's why you want to go ahead and get it done because nothing else in the game is going to limit you on, you know, that much and how much time you have. So you want to run and do your pets as soon as possible whenever you get one. And like I said, the way you get them is from Pet Gnomes, which uh, will pop up in Explore and PvP. Um, and anybody in your guild, if they get a Pet Gnome, it'll pop up. That's why it pops up sometime on your screen. And that's why if you don't have a guild, you probably barely have any pets. Because you probably only have the ones from Events. And every Pet Gnome you've gotten. So if you really want to get a lot more pets and get them leveled up, you need to join a guild. Because it'll give you that many much more times pets, you know what I'm saying? You'll get 30 times the pets if you're in a guild with 30 members. If you're in a guild with 10 members, you'll get 10 times the pets. Uh, let's see. Let's just get that. Um, Green. Uh, can we turn anything to brown? It doesn't look like it. Oh, we got red extra turn. Ooh, it's taking longer than I wanted it to. I was trying to get it done very quickly. So I want to go talk about the top three pets. Even though it doesn't matter as much as uh, you would think. We got uh, convert on purple here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hmm, I think I'll explode. Try to make alignment for my Glaceon or my Bloodhammer. We got Glaceon. We'll turn uh, yellow to blue. And usually that gives us alignment for King Bloodhammer, but did not. Extra turn, purple. Extra turn. Um. I got brown, but I don't need it. Uh, let's just get it out of the way. I got an extra turn here. Could turn uh, that to blue. There we go. So yeah, you definitely want to join a guild. You want to have a team that can get through all the pet battles. Um, if you want to spam explore in PvP, that'll give you a better chance of getting a pet gnome which will trigger the pet battle so when you get a pet gnome on your screen it'll pop up for everybody else in your guild that you know the screen you get where Finnick gets in danger it'll pop that up for everybody in your guild and then they get to try to rescue Finnick if they're on at the time so if you really want to maximize it figure out what time everybody in your guild gets on get on at the same time as all of them so say you have 30 members, maybe 20 of them play during a certain time period. You can get on during that time period, you'll have, you know, 20 times the chance to get a pet. Because there's 20 of you going and doing it. We're 
Reaper's gonna explode. I could have had an extra turn, but I'm an idiot. I'm not playing very well. It's kind of early in the morning. Uh, red. We got an extra turn. Um, I can turn purple to brown. I can turn. Uh, probably just do brown. We got blue. Almost done, guys. Almost done. There we go. One more battle, I think. All right. Now we're definitely. If we if we win this one, we definitely get a pet. Even if we didn't beat this battle, we'd probably have enough baskets to get at least one. But but yeah, the main things I can say while we're doing these battles are. Number one, it doesn't matter what pet you have on your shoulder. You get the stats from all the pets you have. No matter what. No matter what pet you have on your shoulder. You could have nothing on your shoulder and you would still get extra gold from, from Mimic. You could have Baby Beard on your shoulder and you'd still get extra souls from Moon Moon. And then the other thing is how you get them. You go to explore, you go to PvP, and you hope for a pet gnome. Whenever you get a pet gnome, it'll pop up on your screen. One of the pets is in danger, and you can go do the pet battles then. Also, there's an event every week for a certain pet, but there's so many pets now. There's only one every five days or every week or something. You can't just rely on that. So you really need to join a guild. What do we got here? Join a guild so anytime anybody in your guild gets a pet gnome, it'll pop up on your screen as long as you're on at that time. And it's, it'll say that pet's in danger and you can go do it in your games menu. Then after this battle, I'll show you the rewards I get. I'll show you... Maybe I can level up Finnicut, probably not, but I don't even have that many leveled up that high. I have only one pet fully ascended. I have a lot of pets, but I only have one fully ascended. It's kind of hard, unless you're in like a guild that's on all at the same time as you, and there's 30 members, and you guys coordinate, so... If one person activates a pet battle, everybody goes and does it. And if somebody has one, they're ready to activate. They wait until everybody does that one, and then they activate it, which would mean they'd have to stay on the same screen where it has a pet, where it has a um, pet gnome, like not finish the battle. Like if you really want to get down and dirty and and do it to a T. If there was a pet battle activated, somebody in your guild would say, Hey, I just activated this pet battle. And then, if anybody else had a pet gnome in one of their battles at that time, they would wait. They wouldn't finish the battle. They would leave the pet there until the timer ran out on the other pet. And then they would activate it. And then you could get two pets in a row. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um, we need to just finish this so we can get get on with it. God damn it. Oh, we got red aligned so we can get doom skulls, knock one of them enemies out, two of them out. Okay, two more to go. We're almost done. We got blue. Boom. Come on, we just need one more. Red, come on, red. All right, we got it. Bang, we're done. So that's how you do the pet battles when they pop up. You can just use this team if you want, or a gold key team, or like a world breaker team. Any kind, any team that gets you through PvP or dungeons will probably do it. And if you don't have a team, say something in the comments, and I will, you know. Tell me which troops you don't have as far as mythics or legendaries, and uh, I'll try to come up with something. Alright, let's just collect our rewards, see what we get. 
two finicates, so we got the one that was guaranteed, plus we got one from the baskets. Three red pet food, 13,000 gold, 28 rubies. So now it says I need three more matching pets to level up Finnicut. So I can't level him up, but we got we could go by as long as he's up, which he's only up for six more minutes. For these next six minutes, I could go to the shop and buy all of these. I could go here and I could infinitely buy this last one for one, you know it's one pet for a hundred gems, pretty much. I wouldn't recommend doing that on any pets except for maybe Moon Moon if you really need souls or uh, Mini Mimic or whatever he's called. But let's go to the pet menu here. Uh, nope, not that. Troops. Pets. Um, I just go to upgradable to see if I have any that I can level. Which I don't right now. But these are all the pets I have. So see, I don't have very many ascended fully, uh, but I think I have one. Let's see, where is he? Huh. Anyway, let's uh, clear this filter and then I'll show you the top three pets. All right, top three pets. Number one, I would say Mini Mimic. You get increased gold for every battle. So right now I'm getting 3% gold from battles. As you level them up, you can get 4%, 5%. I think it says here. So I need 9 more pets, and I'll get 4% more gold from battles. 24 more pets, and I'll get 5% gold from battles. So I'd say he's the best just because he's always useful. It's pretty much a tie, though, between him and the next pet, but many, he's always useful. Um, every other pet, like, barely gives you anything worth, you know, having. Like, they'll give you extra blue mana or extra, extra something for Bright Forest or extra something for, you know... Kedar or something like this one gives you extra gold for every battle everybody needs gold most of the time until you're until you have millions and millions and millions of gold you always need gold so I would say this is the number one pet and the second one though is pretty damn close it'd be moon moon he's number two probably one B um, he gives you extra souls from every battle you don't have to have them equipped you don't have to have them on your shoulder. You can have any other pet on your shoulder. You still get this. You still get fifty. You still get five percent extra souls from battle. This is the only one that I fully ascended right now so far. I had a moon moon pop up on my screen. I used all my gems to buy as many as I could to max them out, fully ascend them. This is the only one I'd recommend doing that if you need souls still for Dawnbringer or for Kingdom upgrades. This is the only one I'd recommend that you blow all your gems on if he pops up. Which he actually is very soon. I'll show you in a second. Um, but the number three pet... Uh, where is it? Let me find it. Err, Lucky. You get extra experience from battles from Lucky. So you could say this is the number one, but... I think it's uh, Mini Maw or Mini Mimic. Mini Mimic is number one. Moon Moon's number two. And Lucky is number three. Just because it's gold, then souls, then experience. And you could probably do any other order for those three, but those are the top three. So I don't even really want to say which one's one and which one's three. But those are the top three. You got Lucky, you got Moon Moon, and you got Mini Mimic top three pets but remember you don't have to have them on your shoulder you don't you could put little freedom freedom he gives no event he gives no bonus for anything he's just a cosmetic pet you could put him on your shoulder and he would give you nothing but you'd still get all the upgrades from every single pet you'd get this 2.25 for elemental you would get 
you know, everything. You get experience, you get 3% XP from battles. It doesn't matter if you have Lucky on or not. You still get 3% EXP from battles. You get all of them. All of this. Every single thing you got. Whatever it is. All of these. Everything. No matter what you're wearing on your shoulder. You get all of them. It doesn't matter. And every time you level up a pet, if you see here on the left, I have 465 out of 475. Every time you level up a pet, if I get 10 more levels, I get an orb. If uh, if you get whatever, maybe you get gems. And then it starts over, and you do it again. And you get maybe an orb next time. It starts over, you do it again. Maybe you get a major orb, or maybe you get 10 gems, or whatever. It'll give you like a counter, and it'll tell you how many levels to get. And once, and once you get that many levels, you get the reward, whatever it is. Mine's an orb down there, if I get 10 more levels. And you use pet food to do that, to level them up. Um, not level cap, but... Well, I can't do it on that one, but whatever it says. And to, if you want pet food, the pet battles give you pet food. And you can go to the Soul Forge. Which I want to show, um, I guess I'll do that real quick. Uh, other, if you go to other, you can make pet food, but you need to use, um, the jewels, which I don't recommend because you can make celestial trait stones with jewels, so you might need those more than pet food. So I've never made food before, but if you really want to, you can. It takes a thousand souls plus 125 jewels just to make one, so I could make 18 if I wanted, but I don't want to. That's how you uh, level up your pets, was with pet food. Um, you send them just like any other troop. You have to get copies of them. And you get copies by doing when they pop up on your screen, or if it's an event, which this week... Oh, uh, it's not going to show it because I still have this one active. But uh, Moon Moon is in five days. So the only one worth actually spending gems on, which people would argue that none of them are worth spending gems on, I would say the only one worth spending maybe 500 gems on or something, maybe a thousand, is Moon Moon. So, and that'll get you uh, more souls per battle, up to 5% more. But yeah, it'll pop, it'll be right here. If I didn't have one active, we would have a, it'll show me the next pet event, which would be Moon Moon. But that's about it, guys. Um, anything else I can think of here? Top three pets are Mini Mimic, Moon Moon, and Lucky because gold, souls, and experience. The other thing, doesn't matter which pet you're wearing on your shoulder. Don't worry about it. Put whatever one looks best to you. Doesn't matter. You get all the stats anyway if they're applicable. You still get souls from Moon Moon. You still get gold from Mini Mimic. You still get experience from Lucky. You still get everything. So it doesn't matter which one's on your shoulder. And the last thing, the way to get them, is through pet gnomes and explore or PvP. Sometimes there's gnome events where they pop up more often. You may want to coordinate with your guild because any pet gnome that anybody in your guild gets, you can also, it'll pop up on your screen and say they're in danger if somebody in your guild gets one. So maybe you want to coordinate that. If not, that's fine too. But the main way to get more pets is to get in a good guild. Just like anything else. If you want mythic troops, get in a good guild. If you want pets, get in a good guild. If you want more gems, get in a good guild. It all boils down to getting into a good guild. That way you have 30 other people getting getting pet gnomes. So you can get more pets. That's, that's why you don't have that many if you're not in a guild. Because you're only getting pets from you. If you get in a guild, you get pets from you and everybody else. But that's about it, guys. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment below if you want me to do whatever. Uh, just let me know. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Peace.